I've been playing about with this ionizer. It's a um, rebranded Mountain Breeze ionizer. So I've taken it out its sleeving, that it was the insulating sleeve inside, and I was going to actually try putting a rectifier and an LED in series with it, on the basis that that would act as a power indicator LED. Plus, the intensity of the LED would vary depending on how much current was flowing through the circuit, which would vary depending on the amount of ionisation it was uh, doing. And I thought that would be quite an interesting thing to do. So I decided to measure the current, and my big industrial fluke meter does not go that low. I will give you a clue. It's in the 200 microamp uh, range of this meter. But the question is, I've tested it, I know the answer to this. Do you think it's A, 0 to 25 microamps, B, 26 to 50 microamps, C, 51 to 75 microamps, or D, 76 to 100 microamps. Place your bets now. Game on. No more bets, please. The current peaks and then settles down to typically about 7 microamps. And if you put your hand in front of the ionizer, it peaks briefly while it charges your body up. And if I actually ground my body, so that it's actually going to provide a good path to the ionised air, and I put my hand in front, it goes up to about 15 microamps, and I can feel the draft of the air blowing against my hand from the needles. But that's really low. That's staggeringly low. That means that the ionizer actually draws, the circuitry in the ionizer, draws one two hundredth of the original NEEN indicator that was in it. And even with this uh, new NEEN indicator I put in that's only running at one milliamp, it's running at less than one one percent of the NEEN indicator. So that if you disconnect the NEEN indicator, the power consumption goes down by 99%. That's ridiculous. And it also means that, that these ionizers, I mean, they do a great job of charging the air up and cleaning it. That means that over the course of a year, it won't even use one penny of power. You might as well say it's just running free. It's, uh, it's really surprising. I really didn't think it was going to be that low.